Subscribe and as always, praise God. Any comments, what you have, can you press? Praise God. And I love you, friend. God bless you. Let me see my friend George. Praise the Lord. 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 Praise the
Yes, sir. Uh, I want to give you a crazy report to uh, my name probably sometime after the first one here. Yes. This is at home after the airline tickets go down a little bit. The airline tickets are expensive right now. Uh, <laughs> yeah. I believe it. <laughs> Amen. Glory to God. But anyway, but continue to pray for him and, yes. and he's very excited about coming home. Right. Right. That's good. Thank you for your prayers. Amen. Paul said in verse 2, And be not conformed to this world, but be ye transformed. Transformed. Amen. By the renewing of your mind. The word transform in the Greek, stay with me, I'm going to go somewhere tonight. The word transform, I like this, in the Greek is literally or figuratively metamorphos. And you know what that is, amen. It means to transfigure. It means to change. Yeah. Yeah. Praise God. Transform by the renewing of your mind. That you may prove Jesus. what is that good and acceptable. Mm -hmm. That perfect will of God. Change. And then three times, three times in verse three, Paul uses the word think. For I say to the grace given unto me, to every man that is among you, not to think Amen. of himself more highly than he ought to think. <coughs> Amen. I think that would be prized. Yeah. Yeah. But to think soberly, oh, yes, susceptible, what that would mean. According as God has dealt to every man the measure of faith. Amen. To think is to determine, to resolve, to work out by reasoning, to hold in one's opinion. Amen. When we teach that living for God must be in your heart, we'll refer to a few verses here. Amen. When it talks about having things in your heart. Amen. It's actually means having them in your mind yeah. or your will praise right. god right when an individual truly lives for god and we do have some of those here in this building tonight truly sincerely really live for god not faith not right. 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 amen not material right. but really do live for god when people make the decision to live for god amen here's what they do they think about all the moves that they make right. and all the decisions that they make. They think about, praise God, so that they can please their God. In Romans chapter 8 and verse 8, we build the foundation of say some things tonight. So then they that are in the flesh cannot please God. In 1 Thessalonians chapter 4 and verse 1, let me turn there and teach a Bible study tonight. I'm trying to go slower on Wednesday night. Please connect with me here. I know this is the only direction I can get. I pray and sought the Lord. I pray and sought the Lord. And this is the direction that he gave me. All right? In 1 Thessalonians, again, Paul writing in chapter 4 and verse 1. Look at the word in here. Amen. Furthermore, Paul said, when we beseech you, brethren, and exhort you by the Lord Jesus, that as you have received Amen. That as you have received of us, how you ought to walk and please God. Amen. How you ought to walk and please God. Amen. You got to think about it. When you look for God, you got to think about the things that you do. Amen. Praise God. You, you can't just shoot from the hip. It can't just be, if it feels good, do it. Right, right, right. You got to think about it. Praise God. Yes, Mom. I mean, have you ever looked in the past uh, to where you were at that point in time and you made some mistakes and you thought, what was I thinking? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Praise God. Oh, yeah. <laughs> what was I thinking? Oh, what was I thinking? But then after the comment here, he said, so you would abound more and more. So what he's saying, in essence here in this verse, he said, think about how you ought to walk. And think about how you ought to please God. So you would abound more and more. In Oxford's version, Oxford's version of the Bible, Romans chapter 12, verse 2, the wording is like this. He said, conform no longer to the pattern of this present world, 
but be transformed by the renewal of your minds, that you will be able to discern the will of God and to know what is good and acceptable and perfect. Amen. Again, Oxford uses the will of God. And King James Version uses the will of God. Or we we'll use it again, verse 2. And be not conformed to this world, but be transformed by the renewing of your mind, that you may prove what is that good and acceptable, listen, and perfect will of God. Amen. The will of God. Wrong thinking can get you right out of the will of God. Right. Yeah. Right. Come on. Come on. You can be in the right church, but be out of the will of God right. in the right church. Yeah. Yeah. Right. You must have your state of mind. Right. I want to teach tonight. I'm going to be good. Amen. Glory to God. It's not good to be out of the will of God. No, it's not. Amen. If you don't really appreciate and understand the gravity of, of the will of God, you'll understand it better when you get out of the will of God. Oh, yeah. Because when you get out of the will of God, things don't go good. Amen. When you get out of the will of God, you start to death. Amen. When you get out of the will of God, everything falls apart. Amen. And so the only thing that matters is being in the will of God. Praise God. Being in the will of God. But it all goes back to our thinking. How we're thinking. Praise God. Proverbs said, Amen, and 3 and 5. He said, Trust in the Lord with all thine heart, and lean not unto thy own understanding. Our own understanding can get us in big trouble. Praise oh, God. Yeah. Amen. There's a lot of things I don't understand, yeah. but if you understand one thing, Amen, and that's God is in control of everything. Praise oh, God. Yeah. Amen. Amen. If it's not going the way I think it should go, I just give it to God. God, you know all about it. I'm talking about thinking tonight. Praise God. I'm talking about changing our thinking. Amen. Glory to 